2.6 follow up. It's been almost three months since this scene. Students forced to evacuate after a student opened fire in the locker room at Reynolds High School. That person killed a classmate, then killed himself. And tonight, we're getting a look at changes to security there. Chris Holmstrom live at the school tonight with details of the renovations inside. Chris? Jeff Nan, this shooting is still something that hits close to home for people in this community, and it's something that will take more time. But school leaders here at Reynolds High School are hoping that motivation, but more. It's a fresh start for students at Reynolds High School. It's really cool walking in here and seeing everything that's different. As smiles and laughs fill the entryway to the gym. It's nice. This is, I feel like I'm in a college right now. A complete renovation with a multimedia wall, trophy cases, and other memorabilia to celebrate athletics for students past and present. A big change from what it looked like before when it was the scene of a deadly school shooting. I remember all the like the cops and everything and like all of us locked up scared, hands above our heads and everything. And for many of them, it's hard to believe it's been nearly three months since their classmate, 14-year-old Emilio Hoffman, was gunned down and killed. Uh, we're still a little shaky about it, but we're getting over it. Yeah. We we'll still remember him, but a traumatizing experience for everyone involved, including the parents. They did a really good job in relation to the shooting, um, but I hope that they really have some good security um, this coming year. I spoke with district administrators, and they tell me security is their priority. In fact, I learned they have added new security doors. This will help them monitor who comes in and out. One of the things that you think about when you start really looking at what could happen on a big campus like this with 320. 7,000 square feet is who gets to come in and who doesn't get to come in. And with school starting next week, school leaders are hoping these changes will help make the first day of school a smooth transition. Now that it's changed, we can all forget about it, move on, and like make a whole another year that much better. And that's Chris Holmstrom reporting something else. The gym was already scheduled to be renovated before the shooting, but after the shooting, the district went back to make more changes, and all of that was possible through community donations.